hello everyone this is Satya Prakash welcome to my channel in this video I'll show you how to perform crowd operation using angular JS and stored procedure in an ASP.NET MVC application so crowd is nothing but create read update and delete all the operations we can perform using web API in ASP.NET MVC so guys in this video we'll discuss few points what is angular JS top features of angular JS what is angular MVC what is views Directives, controllers, filters, module in AngularJS, scope in AngularJS, custom directive, type of custom directives, internal international license, includes in SP, in AngularJS, AJAX in AngularJS, create a web, web API for crowd operations and consume API using AngularJS in MVC. So guys, here uh, I have created one uh, document for all the definitions and what are the things I have mentioned here it will clearly describe in this uh, document so before going through this video guys please visit my sp.net web api playlist where you will get some ideas what is web api and uh, how to use web api and create the web api applications in your real time projects so this there is almost the uh, real time scenario videos okay uh, so these are very beneficial for beginner intermediate and experienced candidates so guys I'll uh, go to my this documents I have created uh, what I discussed these points right so what is angular js create web api controller and normal controller angular js and web api relation in app.js file and bootstrap and angular js reference using view CSHTML. so in my presentation what are the points I have mentioned here these are all definitions I have mentioned in my document what are the top features of angular js that is two-way binding independence injection testing model view controller so guys angular js uh, url this is the url to download your angular js okay i have already opened in this angular js url and there you can download this angular js file so here what is angular mvc what is the views and directives in angular that is ng up ng init ng model and ng repeat and what is the controllers in angular js and what are the filters in angular js and what is module in angular js okay so all the details I have mentioned here and uh, what, are the, what is the scope in angular js what is custom directives in angular js type of custom directives internal internationalization in angular js and what is the includes in angular js and what is ajax in angular js so this is all the basic ideas what is the uh, angular js and what are the features we can use using angular js okay so that's all from this bit uh, from this uh, document so I'll close this document as well okay I'll go to my uh, uh, notes section okay so in my notes section I have created step-by-step -step process okay as there we will get some uh, ideas that is how to perform the crowd operation in SP dot and web API and using in, in MVC so guys first of all we'll create a database objects that is tables and procedure for a crowd operation okay so I'll go to my uh, Visual Studio and here in app underscore uh, data folder okay I have created one MDF file so this is very simple just right click on this file okay app underscore data uh, go to add and new item so click on this data SQL Server database so this is the MDF file and add so if, once you will add you will get some uh, interface like this on your left side data connections and what are the uh, database objects okay and uh, if you expand this MDF this has the corresponding log underscore log dot LDF file okay so that is the step one and uh, and next next step is we need to create some tables okay so for tables I have created one script so this is the script okay for table create the table and if I will expand that uh, table you see you'll get a uh, table name as well inside the tables uh, section okay em employee table so same way for uh, stored pro uh, there is stored procedure okay uh, that is sp underscore ins upd del employee so these are all this this the all type uh, type of uh, crowd operation is mentioned here using this single stored procedure okay so this is also I have created in the stored procedure uh, section okay so if you right click on this 
you, you'll, you can uh, yeah open If you expand, it will get some uh, related parameters on the corresponding stored procedure. So see guys, here I can get the uh, parameters ID, name, address, country, city, mobile and type. Okay. And same way for if you expand these tables, you'll get the related columns as well. Okay, so these are all, these are these are the scripts for uh, table and the and the stored procedures. Okay, these are stored procedure. So that is the thing of uh, step one. And step two is for Adio.NET Entity Mod Data Model. Okay, so guys, here you can see database one entities web API pros. Okay. So uh, one, while you create this uh, MDF file, I'll, uh, this one this was not showing. It is showing that is database one dot MDF. But for this uh, see, for this what are you seeing here database one entities web API pros for that this is nothing but the ADO dot entity data model mapping. Okay, so this is very straightforward. So what I what I have done is here uh, go to the models folder. Okay, right click on add and edio.net entity data model okay once you click on edio.net entity data model you click your type item name okay and click okay here once you click okay and it it, it will ask for uh, it will show you it will ask for if if designer for database click next and uh, earlier i already have created so that the database one dot md was not showing but what while you create your first time in your project it will show database one dot mdf file and corresponding database entities and click next and there it will map to that particular uh, tables and procedures and click on it and finish okay so i already have created no need to create again once you create successfully under models folder you will get this interface like this model dot edmx okay and there is uh, uh, corresponding uh, files and uh, related uh, classes that you can see on this model.tt you can uh, I, it, it is showing what employee.cs file okay that is nothing but the table we have created it's showing the same thing here related parameters and the same way for procedures also so it is also it is created the class file same same name as the uh, procedure as well and the corresponding uh, parameters okay so here I need to refresh it okay so if you'll get this green uh, block mark that means your uh, connection is successfully made okay and yeah that is the step for adio.net entity data model once you create successfully and mapping to your database objects you'll get the interface like this database one entities and inside what is the project name and your corresponding tables and procedures and under the models folder you will get the edmx file that mean, that means edu.net entity data model and the edu.net entity data model created successfully okay so uh, guys i'll just I, I just describe this uh, procedures as well so here procedure is nothing but there is different types okay so for type is ins that means it will insert the insert some new records if the type is upd then it will update the existing records and for if the type is DL, it will delete the ex existing records. And if it is get by ID, for example, there is one employee we need to get by ID so that it will be select statement using where clause. And this is the end, sta end statement as well. Okay, so this is nothing about the stored procedure. Okay, guys. So once you created the edu entity data model, go to your web.config. So there by it will create by default one connection string for you no need to add again okay so if you'll just uh, scroll right so inside the connect you can see connection string is created right connection strings so there it is created is my add name okay add name data database uh, one entities connection strings this is nothing but the related to edit dot entity data model system generated and there you'll get some uh, provider sql client connection 
and there is data source is local db and uh, there is mdf file database one mdf file and security okay and the provider name and connection string is closed so this is nothing but it is created by system while you create the edu.net entity data model okay that means your connection string is set in your web.config file so i'll go to the next step is okay so create web api for crowd operations so first of all guys what i'll do is go to my solution explorer and there inside controller section i have created one employee api controller this is nothing but the api controller okay so api controller if you click on a click on this you can see it is derived from api controller class file okay that means it is a api controller so these are the namespaces are required and i have used this namespace as web api cross models because it will access to my edu.net data model okay whatever the class and the things i can access using this model so that the reference path i have given here and there is i'll go to step by step here okay uh, yes so there is http get this is nothing but for list of employees it will return okay and list of classes and and the instance the object is emp list and the database one entities while we create our edu.net entity data model and this is the connection string we have added right and uh, this one for result we have declared and uh, using db i have access my stored procedure and inside i have uh, put some parameters values okay that is nothing but id name uh, address country city mobile and type and the type is get that means it will return all the employee details okay so this is all about the code for uh, get okay so let's go to the get employee by id so get employee by id we have passed one parameter id and this is the instantiator with the database one entities and i have did uh, use one class file and it's using its object of employee uh, there is db.employees.find and access the parameter if the employee equal equal to null that is showing the not found and else return the employee based on the id parameter so this is nothing but about the get employees by id okay so next step is for insert the employee so insert the new employee there is a post operation and i have uh, used uh, access pass the parameter for employees uh, and the uh, I have checked the model state valid or not. If, if the valid, it will con it will be access to the database one entities. And there is I have mentioned is here is as uh, uh, you know uh, my uh, my stored procedure, and I have you uh, passed all my parameters here, and the type is ins. So ins is nothing but for insert the new records, and the two list is uh, I have used here. Okay, and uh, here I have doing the zero okay as the my id so that is the pi primary key and here i have a response as a request or create response so my it will be status code will be created and the emp list will be generated and the return the response and here else it will it will return as the bad request okay so this is a code about uh, for insert employee operation in your uh, web api project okay so let's uh, discuss about update employee so update employee guys here nothing but to uh, to update the existing record so there is a put operation and same way for we pass the employee objects and there we have uh, used one emp list local variable using as the list of sp underscore ins ep detail employee underscore results so this is nothing but the class while we create the model uh into the entity data model similar to the stored procedure and this instantiated and the model state is valid then not valid then it will create the error response if it is not then the database entities and it will be emp list will be try cache block i have used okay and here the, using the same procedure i have used the employee dot id employee name employee address employee country and employee city employee mobile and the type is upd and uh, to list okay so upd is nothing but existing employee records should be updated based on the id value if it is catch block it will create some create response that is not found 
okay and there is request create response also i have mentioned here and uh, pass your emp list objects so this is all about code for update the employees okay so let's go to the next one is delete the employee by id so this is the nothing but the delete operation okay so there is uh, using database entities uh, instantiate the uh, database one entities class and same way for emp list is instantiated from the list of class of re uh, uh, stored procedure result and there is a result is variable declared and using this tb i have access the stored procedure and based on the id value we can uh, get the records okay so i have used all empty values it just based on the id and there is type is i get by id so that when we click on this edit link so all the you know employee details will be loaded to the corresponding controls so if the results is count zero it will be not found and the try catch block i exception handling i have used so it will be uh, delete the records right so using the same procedure using the object of uh, db i have used the id parameters and other values will be set as empty and the dl empty dl type that means it will delete the existing records okay and the catch block for if the any exception is found that is not found and the last will return the create response so this is all code for delete employee by id okay and last is for uh, dispose method guys so so the dispose method you know very well that uh, for uh, i'll tell you the details so basically to prevent memory link here we use dispose method okay so this dispose, dispose method is override and you i i have uh, passed parameters as bool disposing and there is a database entities we have instantiated using db we uh, mentioned you can access the method dispose so dispose and the using base base class also base class here nothing but the api controller right so using this base also we can access the dispose it releases the unmanaged resources that are used by objects and uh, release the managed sources and uh, and we can uh, pass this disposing as well so basically it is used to prevent the memory leak okay so that i have used for this my in my api pro, uh, prod operations so this is all about the action events in the employee api controller okay so i'll just expand all my uh, methods so that you'll get the, all the cores at a time so here this is my code start from here okay i just scroll down and you can track this course as well okay this is for update employees this is delete and this is for prevent memory leak okay so this is all about the uh, you know web api so guys once the web api is set we need to check whether web api is running uh, correctly or not okay so that i need to run my application here see here guys you can see my api is response successfully okay api slash employee mp employee employee api so this is nothing but my employee api controller class file and go to my browser so you can see i'm getting the uh, response my get request right earlier i have created some uh, records so that it reflecting as well inside employee i can see address city country id mobile and name so that means my web api is running successfully on this port okay so let's go to my next step that is how to consume this web api using angular js in mvc okay guys so before that i need to uh, add something so here there is some for nodes database one entry so what is this is one this one is the auto generated model class file which is related with the database one dot mdf file okay so this class helps us to connect to the data sources and perform insert update delete and retrieve operations okay so this is uh, this is all about the uh, thing and i'll close this and we will discuss about the uh, next step that is how to consume right okay now what i'll do is before that i need to add some uh, js file here right so i already have discussed that is uh, angular js which is we can download from this uh, path okay angular js.org 
and here I have app.js file it is you I have, I have created as a JS file app.js okay so and there is one more file is CSS for bootstrap support okay so first of all I'll show you that so bootstrap.cs file so guys here I have used bootstrap 3.3.1 uh, so we need to uh, download this bootstrap from this site and uh, inside the CSS folder you will add this bootstrap.css same way for inside JS angular you will click on angular JS so see you will go to this angular JS site and download this angular version 1.4.8 okay and uh, this one is I have created so you need to create in your file uh, folder app.js so this is very important to angular js which consume the web api and perform the crowd operation okay so let's begin with this so i'll show you that step by step process okay so guys here uh, this js file for joining controller with the views using a dollar scope object okay so here what i have i have done here is there you can see uh, here I have added one controller name in angular j angular js file name is employee controller so that that we can define in your angular js file okay so this is the model my app this is the controller name okay and uh, this is the kind of angular js controller so you can see the uh, function employee controller right so this is nothing but I have added one controller in angular js okay so here I have declared three variables uh, loading update so and are so making as the true false and true so same way for get L all employees so to get all employees through api controller i have write this code using http dot get and this is no need to create or uh, add your a uh, whole api path right only you need to mention this up to this api slash employee api okay because my both apis and uh, uh, angular j and uh, ui running in one uh, server so that no need to add the whole file whole url instead you just uh, type it just slash api employee api and success function data and the data okay and there is error function scope uh, success function if the it, 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 there is web api is not found and this so the un unable to connect with the api same way for if the successful then connect with the api successfully okay so next is to insert the employee through api controller this is the code okay and here same way for add function and this loading true this is the using the here you can see get for all employees this is for post operation i have added the you know employee uh, my api endpoints so here's success function there is variables i have used uh, this data whatever to get will be assigned to the scope employees of that so as false are so as true and new employee as empty so if there is an error it will show this message employee record is not inserted successfully if, if there is re record is inserted successfully it will show as uh, alert message as employees inserted successfully same way for edit the employees that means if, if there is one edit button if the edit link is clicked so the corresponding employee details will be loaded to the to their text boxes so there is edit function employee id is the nothing but uh, the id value column name right or assign to the id value there is http get operation this is the uh, id we have uh, passed here whatever the value we ever get we pass here and same way for we have uh, some variables declared new employee data passed to the whatever data we will get will uh, assign to the new employee update so as true and r so as false okay and the error function for unable to load employee details successfully to update if the success then able to load employee details successfully to update this alert message is set for edit employee and there is one more up update function the same right so for update the existing records so that i have declared one variable loading true and there is log i can see the employee details whatever you click on edit link and there is put request right put for http put for update the records so there is this dot new employee based on edit link it will access the id value and based on id value this corresponding new employee objects that is address name uh, country it will be rolling successfully and the corresponding vari variables also we have set here data is successfully assigned to employees update so false are so true new employee empty and there is error function is employee record is not updated successfully at the success employee record is updated successfully 
and for delete employees okay so delete is function is declared here and there is id value of access loading true and there is delete a uh, met uh up http request okay http operation using delete i have put uh, my passing my employee uh, sorry web api endpoints so data is passed to the employees so there is if there is error while delete it's showing employee record is not deleted successfully if success is successfully it will show as message employee record is deleted successfully and last for employee cancel there is one reset button so this function is implemented there using this function i can see update show as false add show to new employee set as uh, empty okay so this is all about the methods uh, operations in angular js okay so let's again uh, view this so this is angular uh, this is app.js uh, this is the code okay i just scroll uh, down so this is i declared where app uh, so assign the controller and this is angular js controller this is for get all employees this is for insert the new records this is edit the new uh, existing records based on id value the employee details will be loaded to the corresponding employee using update function and delete for existing records delete the existing records and this cancel employees for reset button and this is the close tag so this is all about the app.js file okay let's go to the next step is we need to check web api config.cs file so that is available in app underscore start folder so there is web api config.cs file it's very important so that is api controller and id value okay so this is no need to set it will by default there same way for so this is nothing but this employee controller is uh, you know this class will uh, configure the employee api controller C controller class file so next step is we'll check here as uh, okay before that i need i have created one one more controller a home controller okay and there is one action uh, method that is crowd api and i have created one view here okay so this view uh, home crowd api yes cshtml okay so i have al already created so to set this uh, you know this value that is while the set a start page so go to the route config.cs file and there i have set controller as home and crowd api so that when our application loads first time it will redirect it to the corresponding controller and action method okay so that's thing and next and one more thing is we need to set bundle config.cs file inside the bundle config.cs file we need to add this uh, path right because we have added the css folder inside the css we have added bootstrap.css and inside the js fold js file we have added this angular.js and app.js file so we need to set in your register bundles uh, of bundle config.cs file okay uh, so let's discuss about this uh, crowd api css html this is for view purpose okay so before that i need to just uh, collapse this okay yeah collapse this yeah okay we need to we will discuss here uh, the this uh, CSS HTML file. So guys, here first of all, I have added two references. Okay, that is for CSS and JS file inside the JS. It will be mapped to my CSS JS folder. Nothing but the app.js and bootstrap.css file. So layout as null, so it will be uh, not uh, mapped to my you know that layout.css HTML file. But we have created right shared folder. So I set as the null here and uh, you can see to access the functionality of app.js file there is one directive with the file name that is html ng hyphen app my app right so you remember while you created the app.js file there is i have mentioned as the my app okay so see here this is the my app right so same way uh, i need to mention here as ng hyphen app directive ng hyphen app equal to my app okay so here uh, to access the functionality of app.js a uh, controller file there is one uh, directive with the file name okay so this is nothing but div ng hyphen controller employee controller and this class is nothing but the bootstrap content container okay and here i have added some bootstrap.css fi class file that is in the div class row 
uh, class column hyphen md hyphen 12 and there is one strong right so you, you, you remember i have used one uh, error uh, function and scope function and the, using this uh, object scope i have uh, act declare i have used this score error and success so if there is an accepts uh, error message okay it will show here if there is success message it will show here so this error and success we uh, have discussed in this app.js file that is right error function and score function for each methods that is edit uh, insert delete update uh, okay all the methods okay now what i'll do is so inside a form i added some control controls like text boxes and buttons with some properties so see here a form name is add employee there is set as style form group this is nothing but whatever see here as class for class this is all bootstrap css properties okay so this is the uh, one first class file for name and ng model set as new employee dot name same for address so here ng model set as in new employee dot address and uh, for domicile text box there is uh, new employee dot country or this country uh, text box and for town there is input text box as uh, new employee dot city uh, or city this it is for label and the actual is it is city property so same way for uh, contact number or mobile number so there is set as text uh, text box and ng model as ng employee dot mobile okay and uh, after then what i'll do what i've done here is okay so guys here i have added three button controls with uh, uh, app.js and bootstrap.css properties right so one is insert update and uh, uh, reset okay so here so here ng click attribute are mentioned to access the create update and delete uh, cancel or reset functionality from app.js file okay and ng hyphen show ng hyphen disabled attributes are mentioned which okay which are uh, based on the valid data uh, needs to be checked if there are uh, in the input controls or not so here also class we have used button sla uh, space button hyphen primary which are bootstrap class is used for design the layout in button controls okay so the button controls will be changed which is based on new data entry and update the existing uh, employee details okay so these are the functionality of these three buttons uh, so next next is uh, there is uh, whatever the data we are seeing in your uh, ui there we have used one i uh, know uh, table control so there is table there is nothing but the bootstrap css we have used so there's header name address domicile town content and action so action is nothing but uh, edit or uh, delete uh, links we have mentioned here okay so here uh, there is table with all column values with the edit and delete link functionalities okay so here there is notice guys there is ng repeat nothing but employee in employees so whatever the data will get the employees which is which is nothing but this employees we have mentioned in the app.js file okay so it will be accessed to through the employee object and uh, i can see here the model class file with the entities in the, whatever the model.edmx uh, you know entities we can access here it name address country city and mobile okay and uh, yeah so that is uh, and one more thing is there is edit link right so you can see ng hyphen click i, I can uh, use the edit method or function and this is the text for edit link and for same way for delete method okay i have used here and that is the delete uh, link text box also implement here after then the tables and corresponding tags are closed okay so guys again i'll uh, show that uh, crowd api so home controller is uh, this much code uh, and for crowd api.cshtml so this is the code for crowd api.cshtml file so i just scroll down so you can track as well Okay, that's all about the crowd api.cshtml file. 
so guys that's all about the implementation part uh, for web api uh, mbc and angular js so yeah all the steps it is i, I have covered let's uh, go to my you know yeah i need to run my application as well so to run this uh, we already have my api is running so i copy this url come here and instead of that api employee i type here that is home slash crowd api right so because my action method name is crowd api so my all my both ui and api is running in uh, same server okay that is on port number 5.259 so no need uh, i can access both the things in uh, in one server as well so let's refresh So he, so here, guys, you can see this is my this is the interface, okay? And you can see, uh, file my page load successfully. I'm getting connect API successfully. So this message I have set in my app.js file, and this is the record I'm getting because earlier I have inserted one record. So let's check in my web API. So in the web API, I'm getting the response. So same uh, data is reflecting in my UI as well. So let's check for inserting a new record. That is Satya Prakash, okay? And uh, enter. Uh, address Bangalore India let's domicile as uh, country India town is uh, SSL layout and content number I put and insert so while it's insert successfully I'm getting the new re new record with edit and update and as also I'm getting the message as employee record is inserted successfully okay and uh, here if you refresh this web api i'm also getting the new records here also right so same way for need to check for edit the employees so if i look edit the employees so here i'm getting the message able to load employee details successfully to update so here update has set a purpose okay and bangalore india pin and india it is allowed one and there is six I need to update so see guys here I'm getting the update records as well okay and here we'll check for API response so API response also updated here so let's uh, delete the employee as well so while you click on delete okay so see here guys my uh, I'm getting the message as employee record is deleted successfully so if you refresh this my web API I'm getting the all the this record, that record was deleted okay and uh, and one more thing i'll show you that uh, this is about the success message right so let's check for uh error message so let's uh, check my web app.js file so here what i'll do is everywhere i just put here as i know uh, wrong api endpoints okay and let's save the changes so this is the wrong API endpoint so that it will show the all the error messages while we perform some crowd operations okay let's change this go to here refresh it using control uh, using a f5 so okay there is uh, one more thing okay what I'll do is I need to uh, check in my incognito mode so see guys here I'm getting unable to connect with the API because I have set here a wrong API endpoint so that it will connect to the uh, showing unable to connect with the API right so if I'll perform some insert operation okay test test and there is some random value insert click on insert I'm getting employee record is not inserted successfully that nothing but uh, so this one right employee record is not inserted successfully so let's check for uh, update the uh, update update also we cannot do right because we don't have the things as well to update 
so let's check uh, for uh, we need to pass here wrong API endpoints sorry correct one so refresh it okay so here guys I'll need to update because under API endpoint for updating I have used wrong endpoints right so here while we clear create edit so I'm getting unable to load employee details successfully to update okay so let's uh, okay now what I'll do is I'll make this correct endpoint for insert operation for it uh, ed for edit and for update I need to make a wrong endpoints right so let's refresh it edit and let's uh, click on update so I'm getting here as uh, employee record is not updated successfully right so make it uh, correct endpoints and here refresh it let's check for delete so here while it deleted it all unable to delete that is employee record is not deleted successfully right so this message also we have set here because we have used a wrong endpoint for delete operation so let's reset to a correct endpoint for everything for get insert edit update and delete okay let's go here and refresh it okay and here we'll create one more uh, thing and show everything here so let's uh, copy this my api go to incognito mode okay let's check okay now we'll insert a new record satyaprakas and bangalore in okay India and there is India also town HSR and con con uh, town uh, sorry contact number I have put and insert so first of all when my application loads I'm getting connect API successfully right so I'll show you again yeah connect API successfully so that message is set here connected with the api successfully and for insert i'll check this value this message so let's con uh, insert new records bangalore india and hsr and contact number select and um, click enter I'm getting employee record is inserted successfully also and this employee record is successfully showing here in the list and uh, it will come here I can see employee record is insert successfully message set here right so we'll go to my web api my web api also showing the records okay and need to uh, we'll check here this message that when the edit link is clicked it will show able to load employee data successfully to update so come here click on enter click on edit so i'm getting able to load employee details successfully to update so before update i'll show you one thing so while the update successfully it message will message will be shown as employee record is updated successfully so here i update in satyaprakash one bangalore one india one hsr one and three and update while i update i'm getting the update successfully here seeing the records and the message are showing employee record is updated successfully if you refresh the api i'm getting the updated records here same way for we'll check for delete employees if successfully deleted i'm getting this message come here so here what i'll do is click on edit eh, sorry click on delete so once delete the del data deleted successfully and getting the message employee record is deleted successfully come here web api refresh it this 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 uh, record was deleted also here right okay now uh, there is one more thing is for cancel employee right reset so remember that reset i have used this ng hyphen click as cancel event right so that it will reset all the my uh, uh, controls values so refresh it so i'll type something 
and uh, test domicile as test okay test if you click on reset I can see all my uh, employee controls are reset as well right so that functionality is implemented here that is the cancel employee function right so here so guys here uh, this way we can uh, uh, use our web api crowd operation and uh, we can consume in mbc using angular js and perform the crowd operation that is create read update and delete and there is one more thing we have added here that is the date and time so that uh, it is easy for the end user the, what the date time so in the in the header i have used the other date, date time dot now dot to local time so that it will show date with time so same way for reflecting here as well right okay and there is one more thing notice guys uh, first time when the page loads the uh, button is not enabled it insert is as the disabled mode once the all the all the controls are inserted right uh, mentioned here are uh, input by the end user that after then only the inserted uh, insert is showing here right same way if you click on edit so that inserted insert button is convert to update right so that functionality we have implemented here in our prod api.cshtml file okay and uh, so edit delete is link is successfully implemented here and uh, this is the message for error and success response and this is the api which is consumed in this mbc using angular js project okay guys so let's check in the some remaining thing if there is a remaining thing is there okay now what i'll do is go to my okay in the yeah there is nothing to about code this is about all about the code section we have covered and this is about the demo on the output of the web api in uh, mbc and angular js so so this is very real time event guys uh, where you can uh, perform some crowd operation in a uh, using web api and uh, uh, consume this web api crowd in mbc using angular js okay so let's go to my presentation so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day